this technique in Calcutta of making uh, big, large sculptures out of straw and clay, and I approached uh, uh, the Goodman Center um, and asked them if I could maybe do a project here uh, as a community project. So in uh, throughout summer and early fall, we worked with girls to make these smaller sculptures here. And uh, then um, in October, I started making the larger sculpture. We had some interesting conversations with the girls about what is a representative sculpture. We, you know, we, we come from different locations and we don't all look the same. We are not all the same color. And so one of the things that we decided was that we won't have a face. That was an early decision. And you can see that sort of started to happen even with the smaller sculptures. Um, the, another decision was what kind of dress would she have and what kind of dress would be most representative. And we realized that, you know, something trendy, something modern, um, you know, like a top, uh, a trendy top. Um, we had a lot of discussion about pants. <laughs> you know, the bootcut pants being the most popular. <laughs> so, um, I went last year uh, in August to Calcutta on, um, on a small scholarship from the university. For 10 days every fall, they have this elaborate, you know, sort of a public ritual of, um, with, these, um, with these sculptures. And then at the end of the, the, the ritual on the 10th day, the sculptures are taken in public processions to the river and sort of immersed into the river. So uh, all the materials that have been used to make the sculpture are returned, you know, they were taken from the earth and they are returned to the earth. Uh, that was a, a very big part of why I wanted to study the sculpture, uh, this process in Calcutta. It's, a pro it's also a process of letting go, completely letting go. Months and months of labor, and at the end of it, it just becomes a formless thing, and it's, that's fine with them. And that was a huge thing to learn.